Hey guys, and welcome back to Batty in a Book, and welcome to my living room. Now I know exactly what y'all are thinking, so don't come for me, okay? I know I did this video a couple weeks ago, but as a result of that video, I did get a lot of questions about where I got certain items in my living room. So I thought it would be a good idea to do a living room tour rather than a bookshelf tour. So this video will be more focused on the different furniture pieces that I have, the decorations, and kind of the mindset or the um, thought process behind creating my living room space. Y'all, I've been in this house for three years and I want to say I got this living room space together within the last six months. So I'm definitely not the decorator myself and I used a lot of these videos to kind of inspire me to create my own space. Everything that I can still find and everything that is applicable in my living room, I will find the links and or similar, similar links to what I currently have and I'll put them in the description box down below. It won't be everything that's in my living room because of some things I did buy from Ross, Marshalls, Goodwill, Facebook Marketplace, so on and so forth, but I will try my best to find try to find links for everything. Um, and yeah, let's go ahead and get started with the tour. So the first thing I want to talk about in my living room is actually one of my favorite parts of my living room and what took me the longest to kind of figure out what I wanted to do with them. And that is my curtains. My curtains, I ended up getting them from Bed Bath & Beyond just because of the length of the curtains. They're 94 or 96, I believe. And they are really, really long. My biggest thing was I wanted my curtains to touch the floor and I wanted my ceilings to look really, really tall. And my windows, even though they are regular schmegular i wanted to, them to look a little bit longer a little bit taller so i ended up going with the sheer ones in the middle and the black ones to match the black accent that i wanted to keep my living room looking cozy i love 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 this detail it's one of my favorite things about my living room i got the curtain rods from ross and they're really high quality really really sturdy and i pretty much got all the same rods matching rods um for all three of my windows and trust me i had to go to like three different stores to get sh make sure that i had the correct ones <laughs> Then over here in this little corner, I have like all of my music kind of sitting here. So I have this record player that I actually got off of Facebook Marketplace. If I can find the actual one, I'll link it down below. But it's like, I want to say it's like like $200 and I only paid like $50 or $40 or $50 for it. And then um, the table that is sitting on, it is temporary, just kind of temporarily put there. But I also got that from Facebook Marketplace um, just to kind of put this here temporarily. The records, those are all from Goodwill. And then those CDs, I've had those since I was a kid. I've been collecting them. Some of them came from my dad. Um, some of them I purchased myself or were gifted to me. So this is my little music station. These little flower things I ended up picking up from DD's discounts, I believe. And then I also keep my headphones and my speaker here just for easy access whenever I'm getting ready to leave or if I need to grab them to go to the gym, um, I keep them right here on that little station. Moving right along, we're kind of going into the actual living room area now, but this is the same console, the same, I believe this would be called a cabinet, um, and it's the same Ikea cabinet from the last video, but I ended up removing the doors from this and using it as a bookshelf. As y'all know, in the last video, I had a pile of books piling up <laughs> that I needed to figure out storage space for, and everything that was in this console, I didn't really need in the living room as I didn't really use it. It was just holding a bunch of random things that I wanted to kind of keep out of out of eyesight. So I removed the doors, put the books here. I removed some of the shelving. Each of these sections in this console or in this cabinet comes with three shelves or two shelves. So it gives you the option for three sections. I took out one and just decided to utilize one shelf each to give myself as much space as possible. As you guys know, these little bookends are from the Goodwill. You can find these on eBay. So if I can find um, either these or any others in the collection, because I believe there's like six or seven of them in the American Girl collection. 
so i will link anything that i can find in the description box down below be y'all's little plug or whatever if y'all want to go ahead and find one for yourself <laughs> but um for this shelf the reason why it is so empty is because i do eventually want to add plants and things of that nature my living room is pretty much almost done i'm just really looking to add plants and then i'll finally be done this shelf over here if you watched my last bookshelf tour you will know that this shelf actually came from the family dollar it is so not sturdy it is really just here temporarily but right now i just really did not feel like buying any new shelving right now which is why i've turned that cabinet into a bookshelf and then i'm utilizing this for the time being um i don't recommend this i won't link it down below but if you're curious i don't even know if there's even a link available for this type of item but if you're curious for a temporary solution i would definitely recommend checking out your local family dollar now these are the infamous wall arts that never want to stay on my damn wall so right now they're sitting right here i got both of these from ross they were ten dollars each along with the white ones that you'll see on the wall in just a moment that are still standing strong on the wall those dollar tree i got dollar tree command strips that are sticking on the wall right now those ones are hanging on for dear life so let's just hope that they stay up there Right next to the bookshelf, I have this white fireplace with a wood top. I got this fireplace from Big Lots and I absolutely love this piece. I had my eye on it for so long, but listen, y'all, the key to Big Lots is to shop when they have that 20% off coupon that you get in your email. That is the time to shop and fireplaces are best to buy after the Christmas season is over, like January, February, whatever they have left over. Typically, they whatever they have left is cheaper to buy and if you have a floor um display one that is still available typically those display ones are a lot cheaper than buying them in the box and they're already put together so you don't have to worry about it this fireplace has a remote to control it and i love that it does have a heat option along with just a picture option as i live in a warmer climate so most of the year i don't even need it i have this angel sitting on top of my fireplace that came from my nana and then i have this tv that i bought from facebook marketplace the sound box came with it but to be honest i don't even know how to hook it up the tv don't work no more it probably worked for like <laughs> three or four months and then it stopped working but i guess that's what i get for getting a 65 inch tv from facebook marketplace for 50 dollars. i'm hoping i can just take it to a best buy or something and have them look at it because it still turns on and i can see that the tv is trying to turn on i can hear the audio but i don't get any picture so I don't know we'll see i'm gonna try to fix it i don't really watch too much tv so right now it's just up here for decoration and then over here i have some of my little dollar tree room sprays they don't all smell the greatest but they do the job <laughs> and then i have this jar it's a candle jar um the candle doesn't work anymore of course i used it all so i have all of my incense kind of like sitting in here and y'all these red ones they stink but they look good up here so i'm gonna just leave them up there <laughs> and then i have this jar from the goodwill a lot of my stuff in my living room especially decorations and small stuff like this is from the goodwill i'll be loving the goodwill for decorations and stuff then of course we have this famous tbr cart you can get a tbr cart from anywhere but i got mine from target um i believe they have one at michael's they have one at target and walmart i believe and then I have these little decorations here, like these little fake flowers and candle from the 99 cent store, which I have locally. I know they're not everywhere, but if you do have one nearby, definitely recommend checking them out for like little knickknacks and things of that nature. So moving right along to the center area of my living room, the main area of my living room. First, we're going to start off by looking at this area rug. It's an all black shag rug that I got from Walmart and i got it from walmart online i ordered two of these initially so one's here and one is in my bedroom i originally went into the store because they didn't have this size and brand and when i went into the store i really liked the smaller size version of this same brand rug it was really soft so i decided to go ahead and pick it up and order it online 
and then this couch right here i love 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 this couch this couch was actually supposed to be a three-piece sectional but i went to big lots the same place where i bought the fireplace from and i ended up getting the couch for um just the two pieces rather than buying the corner piece as well and then you know kind of piecing them together because my living room is just a weird and odd shape it came with these pillows but i ended up getting these covers from amazon to go over them because again my aesthetic is black accents and this kind of bluish color that you're seeing in the other throw pillow that it came with just wasn't really going with my vibe but i didn't really necessarily want to change the cover so i just kind of stuffed them in these little amazon um covers i do probably need to get some new ones because they are kind of like busting at the seams <laughs> and then the blanket that you're seeing on top that was a gift i don't know exactly where that came from uh, but i'm sure you can find that anywhere then we have this coffee table sitting right here another thing from walmart it was like 15 dollars it's just temporary until i find an actual end table or coffee table that i like um, but for now that'll stay there i've got more candles from the goodwill and then another little ceramic bowl candle holder thing from goodwill as well and then of course my coffee table books which you guys saw in the last video most of those books are from amazon or from goodwill over here we have these beautiful light fixtures that i picked up from amazon i love 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 these light fixtures and i don't know why i was into light fixtures but i was obsessed with finding the perfect ones i have these in my living room and in my bedroom they are wired light fixtures so it's not something that is hardwired or anything like that eventually i will get something to hide the cords behind the curtains as much as possible but they'll do for right now I ended up picking up these little pictures from Goodwill. They were like a dollar or two a piece for my local Goodwill and they were still in really good condition. And they matched this wall, this little piece in between my curtains and in between the two windows perfectly. So I thought that they would go perfectly here. And then on top of this bookshelf, um, I ended up getting another candle from Goodwill. We got this little vase from, um, or pot holder I should say, from Ross. And it was only four dollars it was such a steal i got a bunch of these in different sizes and left that one there and then um, i also got this little fake plant from tj maxx i'm telling y'all marshall's ross tj maxx burlington are the places to go for any decor items whether that's wall art or like fake flowers vases things of that nature then we have this basket full of like just my blankets in my living room. I got some of these like this one. I got this one from Ross, I believe. This one I got from the Goodwill. I made sure I washed it like three or four times before I even put it up here. <laughs> got another one from Marshalls. And then I have this Spider-Man blanket that I've had literally since I was in high school. It's one of my favorite things that my aunt got me and I will never, ever, ever get rid of it. But she does go towards the bottom because, you know, she's not with fitting the aesthetic. I got this basket from Target. I love, love, love this basket this basket was kind of expensive who would have thought that being an adult baskets would be so damn expensive that thing was like 40 dollars but i can't complain because it gets the job done i've never had any issues with it and it's so cute like look at that it is so damn cute and i'm so glad that i picked it up i wish i would have gotten another one but that'll do that'll do and then this bookshelf as you guys know is from target And then we have the most requested item in my living room, which is this chair. Hands down, my favorite item in my living room. I searched for so long to find this chair. These are really, really hard to find. Um, but luckily, I was able to find a link to Ashley's Furniture. It's a different color. It's a cream rather than a gray. And then I also found another website. But I would say do your own research and check your local furniture stores. Just take a reference picture because you never know what they have. It is a swivel chair, which I absolutely love. It's so comfortable comfortable i read here all the time it's a cuddler chair so like literally one person can fit here two people can fit on this chair comfortably it's amazing and then over here we have the two other photos the ones that match the black ones that will never stay up on the wall but these ones have been thriving um and i kind of just have the black ones in those two spots that you see a missing photo of 
Then for my bookshelf, we have the Billy bookcase from Ikea. Now two, I have three of the larger ones and then one skinny one. Two have the extension and then two don't. That wasn't done purposefully. When I moved these bookcases from my closet downstairs up to my living room, they'd break from me trying to do it myself. So I ended up just leaving them as is. I actually end up liking it because it, it creates one large shelf in the middle there. Um, but I love the Billy bookcases there's so many options that you have with the billy bookcase you can add shelving um, to customize your shelf they're really sturdy and really really good quality so i really love this bookshelf and then i have this clock from marshall's i believe is where i got it from beautiful clock i really i knew that in this space i just wanted a huge clock so i searched for weeks to try to find a huge ass clock to put here and i was able to find it so that made me very happy um, but yeah, this is my living space. If I missed anything, definitely let me know in the comments down below. But thank you guys for watching.